Hi, everyone. Have you ever considered what it means to live a heart-centered life? What does that mean? How does that impact how we show up? And what may be the benefits of living a life from our hearts? Hi, I'm Lori Ingram. I'm a spiritual counselor, and I companion and advise people on their journeys to living authentically and fully into who they are. One of the things that comes up a lot is moving out of our minds and into our hearts and living from that place. But what does that even really mean? It's really about being in alignment with our values. First, understanding what those values are and then aligning with them and the wisdom that is in our heart, you know, compassion, empathy and connections that are coming genuinely and authentically from who we are. You know, as opposed to being in our mind, where we might be thinking about and making decisions from a very, you know, rational, mind-centered place. When you move into your heart, you're listening with your heart, and it changes your relationships. So have you ever felt a moment where you really felt connected, understood what was happening from a different place, maybe something that your mind couldn't even explain, but that your heart knew was true? You know, think of of something that being in love, for example, either with a partner or with a child or with a pet. You know, those are times of heart-centered awareness. So some of the benefits that can come with living from this place, and, and I have to say, even personally, as I've shifted my living more into heart-centered awareness, I find that there are moments of increased peace and joy and contentment that I wouldn't necessarily get if I was living up here all the time. My connections with people are deeper. I also have increased empathy for others. Um, not only are my connections deeper, but my interactions are more meaningful. You know, fostering that um, active listening, that mindful awareness of being totally present for not only what's happening with you, but within you and around you. That increased self-awareness is a big stepping stone to personal growth. Knowing ourselves, being able to sit with ourselves even when comfortable helps us to build resilience. We'll inevitably have its ups and its downs. But knowing in our heart that and being aware of who we are authentically helps us navigate those times and also connect with our So for a moment, consider has been has there been a point in your life that maybe when you did do something from your heart as opposed to your mind, it really made a positive difference in your life perhaps a decision that you made that changed your life. So I believe that the heart is the seat of our true desires, our values, our passions. You know, what lights you up every day? What gets you out of bed and gets you going? What ignites you? What motivates you? What enables you to, you know, bring that fire to something? Um, be when we're true to ourselves, beyond what people think we should do or say or be, when we move beyond the societal pressures, the external pressures, and we're really true to ourselves, we are living from our hearts. So take a moment and consider what your values may be, right? What drives your passion that particularly hints at who you are authentically? So a few steps that we can bring into our day, our day to help us with this connection down into our heart, mindful practices, you know, meditation, breath awareness, 
all the ways we can be very mindful and aware during our day that aren't that are outside of a meditation practice are the very keys i believe to living authentically and in awareness of everything that's happening setting intentions each morning that perhaps guide our day um you know when i was in seminary my mentor when I was working on my vows and I was struggling with what do I say in my vows. And the question she posed to me was, how do you want to show up every day? How are you showing up? And when I thought about my life that way, not the what I'm doing, but how I'm showing up, it shifted my perspective and helped me really focus in on what my ministry in the world would be. And in addition to setting intentions, I'm a big journaler. I believe in journaling, whether it's writing or creatively pursuing those messages that might be just eking to come out and they can come out in your words and in your images and in your colors. Who we engage with, right? Seeking out activities and connections that are also heart-centered can bring us into that place of heart and spirit and also help us understand where we find spirit in the world. Many of us find it in nature. You know, reconnecting with nature brings us down into our, not only into our bodies, but allows us to see the beauty that is always around us, even in the dead of winter. So consider, is there a small step you can take today to live more from your heart on a daily basis? So heart-centered living, it's a path to authenticity, has many benefits for living a more full life, a life of peace, um, build, building our resilience. Uh, many ways we can bring it into our daily life and find practices that help us. And I invite you to share with me your, your experiences with heart-centered connections, heart-centered communities. Um, we know whether you work in this world that I work in or not, I spent many years in corporate life and we can bring heart-centered living to everything we do, regardless of the job we have or who we interact with every day. It is something that is, becomes part of who we are. So do share. I would love to know what you take away from this. And um, I look forward to speaking with you again. Bye.